Mastering phrasal verbs. Transform your sentences. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video where we will focus on an essential part of English language learning. Phrasal verbs. Today, we're delving into a special part of our intermediate grammar series. Sentence transformation exercises with phrasal verbs. This practice will not only help you understand phrasal verbs better but also enhance your overall fluency in English. Let's get started. Before we dive into the transformation exercises, let's quickly revisit what phrasal verbs are. Phrasal verbs are verbs that are combined with prepositions or adverbs. They have a completely different meaning than the simple verb itself. For instance, the phrasal verb, look up, means to find information about something, which is different from the basic verb, look. Now, one common mistake learners often make is using the verb alone without the preposition or adverb, which changes the meaning entirely. Another frequent error is misplacing the object of a phrasal verb. Remember, for transitive phrasal verbs, the object can go between the verb and the preposition, adverb, or after it. But for intransitive phrasal verbs, there's no object at all. Now, for the most exciting part. Let's do some sentence transformation exercises. I'll provide a sentence using a basic verb, and your task will be to transform the sentence using the correct phrasal verb. For example, if I say, she started her computer, you might say, she booted up her computer. The key to mastering phrasal verbs is consistent practice. Make it a habit to use phrasal verbs in your everyday conversation. The more you use them, the more comfortable you'll become. Try creating your own sentences and use the comment section to share them with us. And that's a wrap for today. Remember, mastering phrasal verbs can take some time, but with consistent practice and focus, you'll start to use them more naturally. Keep practicing and keep learning. We hope this video was helpful in your journey of mastering phrasal verbs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.